The rebooting set can be practiced at any time, but the most efficient time of practice is the morning, right after awakening. In this case, the complex produces the fastest therapeutic effect. Besides, it is recommended to practice the set twice a day, once in the morning and once right before going to bed. Since the set has a muscle relaxing effect, the quality of sleep improves. The set must be done on the hard surface. Yoga mat is suitable, on the contrary, to soft mats and mattresses. During the execution of easy version of exercises for people with knee pain, it is recommended to put folded blanket under the knees. All the exercises of the set must be practiced with minimal effort. The amplitude and the effort from the exercise should be as large to allow you to feel tensions in the body and not more than that. The exact term describing the character of movements in the set is close to stretching. It is not recommended to stop breathing during the execution. The breath should be easy and relaxed. If you feel breathing difficulties during the practice, make a short break to rest. The set consists of four blocks of exercises and the final part. All the five parts should be done together except for particular cases. The basic version of the exercise is practiced only in case of healthy knees. In case of problems with the knee joints, one should practice a simplified version presented later in the video. Initial position. Sitting in the knees, distance between the knees 3 to 4 fist lengths, big toes touch each other. Slightly lean backwards, loading the heels and feeling the light tension and soreness in the feet. The back should be rounded as if turning into a ball shape. Hold this position from 3 till 6 breathing cycles. If your flexibility allows you to take the position without feeling tension and soreness in the feet, then the effect should be increased by pressing the dorsal surface of the feet against the ground. If the practice of this exercise causes strong pain in the ankle joint and feet, then one should start with the simplified version. Simplified version is practiced in quadruped position. Distance between the knees is 3 to 4 fists. It is recommended to put a soft blanket under the knees. With inhalation, move pelvis backwards while loading the feet. With exhalation, move pelvis forward while unloading the feet. Repeat 3 to 6 times. The basic version of the two exercises can be practiced in the condition of the healthy knees. Otherwise, it is recommended to practice simplified version. Initial position is the same as in exercise 1, but in this case, the load is on the flexed toes. Pay attention that during that execution, the heels must be separated so that tension of the plantar surface gets distributed equally. Lean against the heels, curve the back as in the first exercise and stay in this position 3 to 6 breathing cycles. In case of disabling pain, it is recommended to execute the simplified version. Simplified version is practiced the same way but from the quadruped position. Feet are set on the flexed forwarded toes and the heels are in the position allowing equal tension in all the toes. While inhaling, move pelvis backwards. While exhaling, return to the initial position. Repeat 3 to 6 times.
Stand straight. The body is upright. Heels are together. Toes are apart. Arms hang freely along the sides and the weight is equally distributed in both feet. While keeping the trunk, legs and the head aligned shift all the body weight on the right foot and slightly swing towards right. The left foot does not disconnect with the ground and the waist does not bend to compensate. All the body must be straight. During the weight shift to pull the head and the neck upwards towards the imaginary vertical line passing through ventral axis of the body. Stay in this position one to two breaths. After this return to the vertical position. Repeat the same to the left side. Repeat the sequence three to six times. After some practice time the exercise can be done in faster rhythm. While inhaling swing aside. While exhaling return to the vertical position. Swinging forward backward exercises are recommended to practice with the back towards a wall for safety. The execution is similar as in swinging left and right. While swinging forward try to maintain a straight upright body posture while pulling the head and neck upwards along an imaginary line of the body axis. Do the same during swinging backward movement at that pay attention not to extend in the lumbar area. Repeat three to six times. At that moment, pay attention not to extend in the lumbar area three to six times. Pay attention. Swinging backwards is so slight that from outside it is difficult to recognize. In fact, it is practiced as returning from the forward swing to the vertical position. Simultaneously, pull up the head upwards, backwards, with the chin tucked in. So during the movement, one should feel a slight tension in the frontal body surface. In relation with the practice experience, this exercise can also be executed in a fast rhythm. While inhaling, swing forward, while exhaling, swing backward. This exercise consists of three efforts. The first one is the pulling toes and feet towards the body. The second one is the lumbar extension, which is the body protruding up and forward while inhaling. The third one is rotation of the feet, external and internal. Initial position, lying on the back with legs open to the shoulder width. Pull up the toes and feet. During inhalation, extend the lower back and rotate the feet outside. During exhalation, rotate the feet inside and return the lower back to the initial position. In this exercise, the tension in the feet and toes is maintained during all the phases. Repeat three to six times. Exercises five and six are executed together on each side at once. Exercise 5. Put left leg on the right knee. Pull up the toes on the left foot. The foot should be tonic. This exercise includes two efforts. The first one is extending the lumbar back with inhaling, the body protruding up and forward. The second is pushing away the knee off the left leg with the left hand. The technique of execution. Together with inhalation, extend the lumbar back, the body protrudes up and forward, simultaneously pushing away the left knee. With exhalation, relax completely. Repeat three to six times, then switch directly to exercise six on the same side. Exercise six is a progression of exercise five. Without changing position, Abduct the left arm to the side under the angle of approximately 130 degrees to the body. Fingers are kept together. 
Hand is bent towards the head. Try to touch the floor by the wrist, elbow and the shoulder of the left arm. Then, without changing the leg's position, drop the legs to the right till the left foot touches the ground. If your flexibility does not allow you to reach this point, you must not try to force it in any way. Let, let your left leg just hang in the air. Stay in this position 3 to 6 breathing cycles. Then start exercise 5 and 6 on the other side. Exercise 7 is similar to exercise 3. It is executed the same way with the same number of repetitions. Initial position lying on the back with knees bent. Feet are firmly on the ground. With inhalation extend the lumbar spine, the body protruding up and forward. With exhalation, with light pressure of the feet against the ground, press the lumbar spine to the floor. Repeat 3 to 6 times. Please remember that during all the exercises, of the reboost set it is forbidden to apply too much effort. The effort should be hardly noticeable. This exercise has the same initial position as the previous one, but the hand is locked behind the head. With inhalation, extend the lumbar spine, the body protruding up and forward. With exhalation, raise the head with your arms up and forward, simultaneously 
pressing slightly to the ground and flattening the lumbar spine to the floor. Attention! Neck muscles must be relaxed. The head rises thanks to the arm's effort and not to the neck muscles effort. Repeat three to six times. This exercise aims stretching the lateral back muscles. Initial position. Right hand is behind the head. Left hand holds the right knee. This exercise has three efforts. First is extending the lumbar spine with inhalation, the body protruding up and forward. Second is lowering down of the right knee. Third is moving of the right elbow behind the head. Technique of execution. With inhalation, extend the lumbar spine simultaneously, pull the right elbow backwards behind the head and low down the right knee. The left arm is resisting to the right knee, pull preventing it from movement. With exhalation, bring the right knee to the right elbow and the elbow to the knee. Repeat three to six times on every side. Exercise number 11 is practiced similarly to the previous one, with one difference that left hand holds not right but left knee. As a result, the stretching effort is directly diagonally, thus allowing to normalize the lumbar muscle tonus.
Exercise number 12 is similar to exercise number 3 and is practiced the same way. Initial position. Lying on the back, knees are bent. Hug your shoulders as if trying to grab the shoulder blades. Inhaling, bringing the belly forward and upward. Exhaling, raise the head forward and upwards so that the head and the neck lose the contact with the ground simultaneously. Apply an effort as if you want to pull aside the shoulder blades with your hands. While inhaling, Relax the body completely. After every repetition, change the arm's position. Repeat three to six times. Initial position. Lying on the back with knees bent, connect the fingertips of both hands in front of your chest. Inhalation. Bring the hands upwards simultaneously, keeping pressure against the fingertips and with pressure of the feet against the ground and flattening the lumbar spine to the ground. Exhalation. Get relaxed completely. Repeat three to six times. This part of the video demonstrates the arms hands movement alone. This exercise is practiced the same way as the previous one, with a difference that the hands are connected not with fingertips but with the internal hand edges from the side of the thumb. Inhalation. Bring hands upwards and forward simultaneously, pressing the internal edges of the hand one against the other, at the same time pressing the feet to the ground and flattening the lumbar spine to the ground. Exhalation. Total relaxation. Repeat three to six times. This part of the video demonstrates the arms hands movements alone.
initial position is the same as in the previous exercise, lying on the back with the knees bent. Hold the side of the left hand with the right hand. Inhalation. Bring the left hand upwards backwards, simultaneously creating the resistance with the right hand. In coordination with this movement, press down the right foot to the ground. Exhalation. Total relaxation. Repeat three to six times on every side. This part of the video demonstrates the arms hands movement alone. Initial position. The same. Hold the dorsal surface of the left hand with the right hand. While inhaling, bring the left hand upward and backward simultaneously, resisting with the right hand. At the same time, press the right foot to the ground. This part of the video demonstrates the arm's hand's movement alone. Hold palms one on the other and place them under the occipital area. Inhalation. Bring the lower jaw backward and upward the way that in the neck and the upper thoracic spine have a light stretching sensation. Simultaneously pressing the lumbar spine to the ground and with both feet pressing against the ground. With exhalation, relax completely three to six times repetition. In this exercise, you must not apply big effort. The effort should be almost invisible. Exercise 19 is similar to exercise number three and is practiced the same way.
initial position. Standing legs are at the shoulder width, free breathing rhythm. Shift all the weight of the body to the right leg, and that knee is slightly bent and the right buttock is brought slightly backward and laterally. The lumbar spine tends to go in little extension. After shifting the weight to the right leg, try to stabilize yourself in a totally stable position. When you get the sensation of total stability, bring the left foot to the right and pose it on the toes. The big toe would slightly touch the floor, but it bears no weight. Stay in this position one to two seconds. After this, bring the left foot to the left and shift all the weight to it, thus repeating the exercise on the right side. Repeat the exercise till the moment when you feel that you can solidly stay on one leg. Initial position. The same. Slowly shift the weight on the right leg. Bring the left foot close to the right foot and big toe. Get the sensation of solid stability on one leg standing. Then bring forward the left foot and touch the ground with the toes while still having weight on the right foot. Shift the weight to the heel and then completely to the left foot. Get the sensation of stability on the left leg and after bring the right foot to the left setting it on the toes. Make 5-6 to six steps forward in this manner concentrating on keeping the balance on one leg position. This is the end of the rebooting exercise set.